Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Back for more Trails SC fun. Oh yeah, the bridge is closed. That's, that's kind of a problem. We're screwed! No, no, we can just, uh, there's another way across. Oops, I want to get my mixer up just in case. There we go. Hey Twitch, you want to have my timer work? I'd appreciate that. Thank you. That nope, Twitch actually still doesn't have my timer going. It's so weird. I don't know why Twitch does this sometimes. It does it all the time actually. Whatever. I'm here. Um, yeah. So what we got to do is we got to walk all the way back around the other direction. No, I'm just kidding. We uh, we can just go to the hotel. Oh, isn't this one of the ravens? Anyone else here? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, where's the the? Oh, uh, the mayor's house must be in the south, right? We could go talk to Norman, I guess. Unless he's at his campaign headquarters, but I doubt it. He's probably long gone from there, right? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, of course he is. So yeah, we can go down here. Go in here. And here we are. Right, here's the ferry. See the line? Yeah. Yeah, how much is it? Oh! So Norman won't let them charge. That's good, actually. Like, in this situation, like, obviously. Since you could normally just walk across the bridge, like, of course they shouldn't charge. But the wait is a half an hour. And they're not kidding. We have to actually wait. I'm not going to make us wait half an hour, but they are going to make us wait through a series and a series of events. <laughs> Tita, that is not even close to almost forever. Waiting is evil! No, no, cross to the other side. The only other way across is literally to loop all the way around the map. Yes, they are literally going to make us go through this. Every single time we want to cross the river. They speed it up, but still. It's annoying. But it's supposed to be. Because imagine how they feel. Like, the residents that live here. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, okay. <clears throat> I thought it was going to storm, but it's not. The sun is out for a little bit. Here we go. Yeah, whatever. It won't kill you. Uh, should we check on the ravens? Let's go see how the ravens are doing. Ah, neighborhood watch group. Uh, good for them. I'm glad they're turning their lives around. They're probably around somewhere, but... Yeah, you notice that all the ravens are actually, uh around and they're they're like watching the town they're actually well being helpful yeah a character arc for minor characters good stuff let's go see the mayor we don't have to go see the mayor but... oh Rocco Rocco there he is yep scheduled rounds yeah they're just you know helping out given the situation which it you know, makes sense I mean, you know, it's really hit the fan at this point. A bracer ran in here?
Really? Yeah, crimes have to be recognized. Yeah. A bracer was trying to request help for Minoria. Hey, Norman. Man, you sure do hear fast. Oh, the guild. Uh, right, okay. Uh, about the academy. Right, yeah, this guy won the election. Congratulations on your election. Seriously, yeah, uh, disaster. Well, but you, you know, you let, let you set up a ferry system for the river, so that's good. That's the best thing you can do, you know. Try to keep things as normal as possible. Ah, uh, the victim from the hotel. This is the guy that got his head caved in by the door. Uh, that's so stupid. So he's the secretary now, okay. Just don't do a Gilbert, alright? Nah, nah, he won't. Gilbert's one of a kind. Oh, whoops, I apparently didn't actually leave this way okay so what are we doing well we're gonna go south hey how's it going zero so you missed that we had to take the ferry and they do make us wait for it so yeah we had to wait like literally about a minute to get on the ferry they're because we can't go across the bridge, we have to take the boat across, and there's a huge line, and they make you wait to the, in the line uh, to show you how inconvenient it is. <laughs> and we have to do that every time we want to take the boat. I mean, they speed it up, but still, it's annoying, but it's supposed to be annoying. I think you can actually walk around this guy, but let's not. That's not good. Uh, I just realized that a god has no um, things. I think I switched the Japanese voice acting back on. Yeah, they're they uh, trails tends to actually acknowledge game like they they tend to stay away from like gameplay story segregation stuff. Like in the cutscenes, bullets don't kill us. Like in gameplay. Um, there's a whole bunch of things like that. It takes time to cast arts in the cutscene, as opposed to traps that are instant. Of course, I don't think they cast arts in this game, in the cutscene, but they do it in uh, other games in the series. They explained how the mute spell works. In lore, which is pretty nuts. Yeah, they actually pay attention to small details like that, which even I don't do. For, 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 you know, for goodness sake. But yeah. no harm in it. Adds to the world. Good job, Tita. Oh, Tita. Uh. Why don't you use your new, uh, your new S-break? <laughs> yes! The power of her upgraded cannon. Yeah, it, it's a line AoE now. Like, a super big line AoE. Uh, if you 
missed that. I got that at the end of... After doing the Genius Royal Academy, I just went to the arm shop and got a new gun for uh, Tita. Well, not a new gun, but she upgraded her Gatling gun there. I think it looks the same, but... But it does about the same amount of damage, actually. Uh, but it has a much bigger AoE now, so... It's good. And yes, it will carry over to third. Literally. When I go into the third game, I will have access to that. If you miss it in SC, you can never get it in third. Ever. Are these guys weak to win? Oh, they were weak to win. No, they were resistant to win. I just kind of went on autopilot there. Shouldn't have done that. They're weak to... Actually, they're weak to Earth. I should be using Earth. Stone impact. There we go. Dual strike. That guy's weak to earth. Or weak to wind. Whatever. Same thing. Not really, but sure. Okay, come on, let's go. I was gonna do the tower before I went to bed yesterday, or before I stopped yesterday, but the storm was pretty bad. I wanted to use Earth, but I was on land on accident. Sorry. He's dead anyway. Oh, Tita actually hit him through blind. That's pretty good. Alright. Got a bird egg. I'll take that. Got the monsters dead. That Tita... I still laugh that Tita stole her Gatling gun from her grandfather's gun store. <laughs> yup! She took it from her grandfather's gun collection. And apparently he's just okay with that. It's like, oh my god. That is hilarious and probably not a smart idea, but sure. Um, she should have HP4, actually. And we should probably get a... Strike 2 somewhere else at Eli, I guess. We can have a Strike 2. I think we have... I imagine we have a Heaven's Eye on somebody. Do we have him inside on somebody? Yeah. We have to go to the top of the tower, obviously. Fight the next bug. That's the, the dealio, as always. Of course, navigating these towers is a pain in my ass. But, you know. Don't worry. When we're done with this chapter, we're done with these towers forever. We will never, ever, ever ever have to go through them again until I replay the game which I probably will at some point but yeah yeah these towers get kind of annoying even with the things like even with cloak on the hell am I going that's not it this is of course the Sephira one which is a real pain in the ass to navigate I want to circle this here. Alright, let's think here. I guess we gotta go down. I probably went wrong down here. Nope. I hate this tower so much. It's because they do these stupid... Uh, like the, some of the bridges are broken and it makes it really annoying. Let's try left. Not correct. Imagine Tita in elementary school. Oh my god. Tita would. I don't know what Tita would do. She's probably too nice to like threaten anybody, frankly. She's pretty timid. Unless you picked on a got, then she'd murder you. Nah, probably not, actually. Tita couldn't hurt a fly. Okay. 
Why am I having so much difficulty navigating this tower today? I'm really a little concerned about this. Oh, that's why. This is one of those one- you have to go straight, uh, I think. No. Wait. Okay, this is... Where the hell is the exit? Okay. Let me get my bearings back. This way? I hope that way. No. I just literally went in a circle. So it must be the other direction. This is like the tower I hate the most, by the way. Yeah, I hate this tower. Ugh. Do I really need to get a map? I just want to get to the roof so I can fight. What's his name? Bugman! Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, here we go. Finally. Jesus. What a pain in the ass. I hate this tower. That's definitely the worst tower in the game. Um, I don't know. Haze. Whatever. Who cares? Should always ambush this bug. No reason not to. Wish these guys got boss music or something. I mean, they're basically a boss, but eh. Whatever. Smoke them. Smoke them. I think they have a different weakness. No, they don't have any weakness. Never mind. White Gehenna. White Gehenna. Oh my god. We totally need to use uh, morale. Forgot. I don't think I ever used uh, Kurt's chain attack, but whatever. It's nothing that exciting. He just slashes with his spear. I don't know if there's anybody in Cold Steel that actually uses a spear. Uh, no idea. I know there isn't in uh, Crossbell. I've seen all the party members in Crossbell at this point. And no one uses a spear. I don't, know. I don't know. There's a lot more party members, I think, in Cold Steel. Like, a lot of party members. Uh... Sure. I still have Tita for a reason. I'm not just using her for no reason. It's convenient to use her for this chapter. Uh, she has a mandatory side quest. Well, the side quest isn't mandatory, but she's mandatory for it. Plus, I wanted to keep her end in order to get uh, that upgrade for it. I mean, I could have just switched, but... Might as well be efficient about it. And a gut just feels right to put Param with uh, Tita. I mean... They're, they're practically family at this point. Oh, I got learned to chain three. That's good. Get the mighty mind orb, which I'm probably going to equip immediately on Estelle over the buzzer. I think that's insanely good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's insanely good. It's basically a better version of, uh, what do you call it? The, um, uh, the Crimson Eye. Like, it's a much better Crimson Eye. Uh, they buff the Crimson Eye in third. Like, Crimson Eye is an insanely good accessory in that game. In this game, it's just, it's kind of just an okay to good accessory. Mind Orb's just fantastic. It's too bad I don't have, you know, I have to use this stupid zero field generator, because otherwise I could, uh, equip the Crimson Eye, she'd have 811 thing, and I'd still even out the speed bonus. Or I could give her a buzzer. Yeah, yeah, but we're not going to bother with that. Uh, why do you have a proxy puppet on, I got? I must have accidentally equipped that, because there's no way I wanted you to have that. That's an auto-life accessory. I never use them. 
ever. <laughs> they're not that useful. Well, they're useful basically for like, I guess the Ren boss fight they'd be useful for if you didn't know what you were doing, like if you had no other option. And you just couldn't survive her instant death move. Excuse me? Oh, we don't have Cloak on. I was like, how did I get in a battle? I thought I had Cloak. Like, no, I don't. I have Haze. Yes? You're back? Yeah. Sorry to sprinkle a little bit so I can't keep going. It's like sunny. What do you mean? It's sunny. Sunny side up. I am hilarious. And you will quote everything I say. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, yeah. Alright. I don't think... I think we're done. I think... Yeah, we fought the monster. We got the mind orb. It's Claudia Tunnel time now. Which I believe is at Air Letton Fortress? Yes, unfortunately. Oh crap, I, I forgot. So, unfortunately... We have to go... Find the boat. Where the hell is the boat? That's a good question. Uh, there's the boat. Waiting is evil! No, cross to the north side. Now we wait! Just like everybody else. Uh, for the side quest? Yeah, we gotta come back here again and again and again. Will do. Yeah, yeah, they really want you to feel annoyed by it. Deliberately, so. We have to go through that every time we take the boat. Rest up, rest up. So yeah, we don't ever technically get, like, airship fast travel or anything. Just, you know, when the cutscene, when the story demands that we are on an airship. We never actually get our own vehicle in this game. Report that. Alright. So that, we are done with this region, kind of. Guess what? We gotta take the boat back across. Let's go. We gotta go to Aralettan now. Cross to the south side. And now we wait. Again! Like, imagine if you had to do this in your daily life. <laughs> like, to go to work, you had to wait half an hour for a public transportation boat. How inconvenient this would be. Yeah. It's nuts. Uh, okay, we'll go over here. Like, man. Imagine how destitute this bar is at this point. Like, the north half of the city, which is basically where people live, <laughs> or where a lot of people, you know, live and work, they can't, they can't come over to eat your food. At least not easily. Or if you had to go to work at the warehouses on the south side and you lived in the north. Oh boy. I wish they played the sad music, like, on the fields, too. But they don't. Right, we can go to Aralettan. Claudia Tunnel is up here. Guess what? There's no lights! We can't see in here. No joke, we can't see in here. We need the night vision goggles. Oh, 
Okay, this is really dumb. For some bizarre reason, they sell night vision goggles in the store. Yes. But we have ZFGs. So they 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 should work in theory. For us, they should technically work. Now, granted, actually, no, I don't think they are orbital powered. They're just special. They're they're coated lenses that enhance light. They don't work like modern night vision goggles. I think that's your explanation. Now, unfortunately, we don't have three of them, and I did not buy a third one. Um, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I don't like doing this normally, but we're going to give Josh a Crimson Eye and a ZFG. And we'll give Tita the other night vision goggle. But they're not, I don't think they're actually orbital powered in this world. Uh, if they were, it wouldn't matter because we have ZFGs anyway. Now granted, you should have to equip it with the ZFG, but eh. Whatever. I don't, but I don't think they're orbital powered. I think they just like our special glasses. Now, something that's kind of annoying is we have a boss fight in here. Yeah. And I absolutely want to fight it. And unfortunately, I don't really have a good means of dealing with it. Because I need night vision goggles and ZFGs. Those are basically all of my accessory slots. So I don't have anything for confusion protection. Okay, well, I'm going to give you something. Uh, yeah. I guess we could give a got confusion protection. Here you go. And we can give... We have the Grail Locket, don't we? Yeah, okay. We'll do that. We'll cripple our magic for a little bit, but it's worth it for a little bit. Yeah, I hate this tunnel. I hate this tunnel in the dark. Uh, it's impossible to navigate. So, yeah, the night vision goggles really don't give you much vision, which, I mean, I guess makes sense because if you ever wore, like, night vision goggles in real life, they are incredibly tunnel visioned. Uh, they're really bad. Like, you can't see anything with them. They're horrible. So, this is what would happen. Okay. Fortunately, we got Cloak on. But yes, uh, the reason why I have the stuff on, even though I'm not fighting anything, is because of the boss fight in here. Something that's kind of odd is you can go into the Limestone Cavern and it's not dark there, which doesn't make any sense. Like, it should be dark. But I guess they just didn't think you'd go in there, because you have no reason to. If I make it to the town, I've gone too far. I'm trying to hug south, because I think there's like a south branch. Yeah, I think it's down here. Where is he? There he is! Remember this idiot? Yeah, guess what? We have to fight him again. Yeah, it sucks. And because of the way it, where we're fighting him, we don't exactly have a lot of options, frankly. Oh yeah, and if you're in battle with night vision goggles on, you still can't see anything if they're not close to you. Yeah, yeah, divine penguins. Uh, again. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to use uh, Death Scream on them. 
I don't like these guys, as you might imagine. Oh yeah, that's about right. You know what, let's uh, skip his turn so I can use morale. Death Scream. I hate having to use Josh as a mage, but what was the alternative? There really wasn't one. Chain 3 is not really going to cut it. Because I can't really chain the three people anyway right now. Okay, do you have, like, White Gehenna? No. I mean, you do, but it's not really what I want. Oh, let's just do Spiral Flare. Whatever. Death Scream. Oh, thanks for confusing Tita. Appreciate that. Please don't, uh... Ah, oh, they forgot they could teleport. You just... You just sealed Josh. You have no idea how aggravating that is to me right now. It's actually really obnoxious. Please don't confuse... Oh my god, I hate these guys so much. I hate them. I hate them so much! It's alright. We'll be alright. It's a matter of time. Not really. We gotta remove that. There's no... There's no way I can deal with these guys. Like this. I just try to kill these guys as quickly as I can. Tita, please don't shoot Tita Estelle in the face. You know that's like your pseudo sister now, right? You should, you should not do that. I think S-Crafts bypass, uh, blind. So that's good. Thanks for murdering Tita. God damn it, Josh. A meatball at you. Ah, oh, come on! The meatball didn't do anything. That sucks. Oh yeah, that's gonna hurt, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it put me down to sleep. Of course it did. And Josh is dead. Yep, that's about right. Okay, uh... Yeah, this fight is, um... Not so much hard as it is incredibly obnoxious. I bet a KFC would be wild in Trails World. <laughs> yeah, probably. Can you stop? I, I need to, uh... I need to revive here. Okay. Doing all right. And no, you can't remove the blind if you use a blind cure. Like, I can show you. It's not going to work. I don't think it would work. I swear to God, if it, if it does work, I'm going to be pissed. No, I didn't think so. It's permanent. I was like, I, I know I remember that. Oh, yes. I just love this cave so goddamn much. It's my favorite cave in the whole game. Please, for the love of all things good in this world, kill this goddamn bird. Uh, Shadow Spear. Please don't put me to sleep. Thank you. Ah, uh, damn it, I said don't put me to sleep, and you put me to sleep. I just noticed. Can you, can you not do that? Can... Do you have impede? I think you have impede. 
You're immune to impede? Uh-oh. That's not good. Uh, here. Heal Tita. She's cuter, so... She takes priority. Not really. Actually, a got should take priority. <laughs> but, you know. Uh, I got... There's really nothing I can do for you, buddy. Uh, just use your s -Bath. You're, you're pretty much screwed, frankly. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, I mean, you can try to heal him, but I'm pretty sure he's just going to die, so why bother? Here, just use a flare arrow. Oh, of course! The one time he doesn't kill somebody who's low on health. You're still alive? Are you serious? Earth Lance? Earth Lance. Oh, thank God. Okay, congratulations. We did it. We got the Divine Cross for our efforts. Fortunately, that is an excellent accessory. But I need to get Cloak back on. Oh my God. And then let's, let's unequip this whole Josh magic setup thing going, because... No. Just no. Uh, we could give him the shield orb. Now that I think about it. It's not a terrible idea. Sure. You need that. Give you the mind orb. It's really good. Divine Cross. Yeah, it's amazing. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should give you the Mind Door. Divine Cross. Uh, eh, it's not quite as much uh, other things, but... Might as well give it to a got for now. Yeah, it just ups every stat by like 20 points. 20 to 40 points. It's like really good. <laughs> it's really, really good. I mean, it better be for all that effort. Uh, here, you can have a grill locket. Why not? Actually, no. You should have uh, gladiator helm. Uh, actually, no. No, you should have your gladiator belt and shield orb. Uh, have the gladiator headband. That's some good stuff. Yeah, we're getting really good accessories now. Oh God damn it! I forgot. I can't see anything at all without a goddamn zero, without a goddamn night vision goggle. It's not just in battle. Yeah, they're not kidding. Like, you can't see shit. It's completely black. Good luck. Do you know what kind of nightmare this place would be to speedrun? Oh, yes. I just love the green hue. It's so good. Yeah, I know. Except in Rock Tunnel, you can at least vaguely see the outlines of the walls. Just don't go into the tunnel. Yeah, the elevator is not going to work. Obviously they would, yeah. But nobody's speedrun this game yet. Technically, I could speedrun it and have the world record if I wanted. Although, I don't think you could speedrun this game that effectively. What am I doing? Go to the first floor, Ryzen. Actually, can we, like, talk to Murdoch? Yeah. Are you sh uh, on easy, though? I don't think anybody's done it on, like, normal. Like, I don't think there's a normal speedrun. I could be wrong, though. Last I checked, I didn't see I only saw, like, there was, like, a couple. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, there's only been a, an, up an uploaded run for easy. Yeah, 
I would think there'd be a lot of options for speedrunning this game, you know? You, a speedrun max BP run! <laughs> speedrun with no side quests? You know, there'd be different things you could do, but whatever. Yeah. Y you're right. I imagine it would be. Remember that Murdoch is effectively the mayor of the town. Uh, not, they don't really have a mayor in Zeiss, but Murdoch is effectively the mayor. Whoever's like the head of the factory runs the town. Which, in most games, would be like something super evil, but no, in this game... They're just nice people. It'd be like evil corporation thing, but no, not in this game. Russell's probably at home. Oh, right, we can uh, trigger this scene. You're lucky there are notes? What do you mean? Oh, notes for the speed run. Okay. I I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to speed run the game. I like the characters and stuff. And the story. And the mechanics. And everything. There's very little I dislike, actually, not I think about it. Yeah, let's see. Oh, you can buy cloak. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, it's cheap, too. Interesting. Didn't realize you could actually buy cloak. Okay, uh, I'm not going to go to the Gracer Guild yet because... Uh... Oh, right! The conveyor belts don't work. Of course they don't. Yeah, but seriously, I don't want to go to the Bracer Guild. I do want to, however, go to the inn. Hotel, inn, whatever. It's time. Oh, actually, having Tita here is a really bad idea. But I can't switch her out right now. Mm. Well, she's got a ZFG, so we could have her play healer. So that's fine. We're going to the Trap Plains. Why? I'm sure Liz knows why. Oh yes, it's time. It's time, unfortunately, for the most annoying monster hunt in the game. Yes, they spawn even without going in the guild. You don't have to actually accept the quest to hand it to actually do the quest. Of course, the question is, where the hell is this guy? And the answer is, I don't remember. Uh, no. No, but it's time to, uh... Have my nightmares fulfilled again. Alright, where are you? How hard is it to find a giant worm? Shouldn't be that hard, right? Giant worm? If I was a giant worm, where would I be? That's a good question. Giant worm? Man, I got a map that shows you where all the enemies are and I still can't find the guy. I thought he was in like the center somewhere. Maybe he's not in this screen. Must be in towards... Maybe I, maybe I was right the first way. Not a dragon. It's the same worms that freaking Walter sent at us. 
except much more powerful. In fact, I'll show you what happens if you try to fight them normally. Not good things, I can tell you that. Where the hell are these giant worms? I know I'm in the right area. That's the tower, which I do have to go into. I will go in there, I just need to... Find this giant freaking worm! Oh, it must be over here. There they are! Okay. Oh! There's a large group of them! That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, eight. It's even more than I remember. Alright! Well, let's, uh. Well, I don't have, uh. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's use Flicker. I'd use Evil Eye, but, yeah, I don't have it. Uh, hey, Tita, why don't you, uh, get him with the nice smoke cannon? Well, uh, actually, you can't really. No, you can get two of them. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and, uh,. Wait, why don't you have... You don't have a ZFG! God damn it, game. Why don't you have a ZFG? Did I... Oh, because you have the night goggles still on. I was like, what the hell? That's weird. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, here, let's go ahead and use... Uh, well, now I can't do anything. Whatever, Josh. Just attack. Sure. Shoot those guys. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a nice hurricane going. Well, maybe I can get a good spell off. No. Now we'll use Hurricane. Sure. There we go. Yeah. All right, doing pretty good here. Huh? Earthquake? Eh, it can't be that bad. Oh, Jesus Christ! I, I need to heal, game. I need a turn. I need a turn. Give me a turn, game. Oh, God. Data's dead. Oh, Jesus! It's okay, Josh! You can do it! Oh, I believe in you! See? You're good! Oh, Jesus! Game over. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do that! And no, you can't deal enough damage. You can't like, oh, I know. I'll fill everybody's CP to maximum and just, you know, kill them with S-Crafts. <laughs> no, they have too much health. Yeah, there is no float. So what you want to do is uh, hit one at a time. They are also susceptible to AT delay, which does help. So this means uh, things like Cyclone uh, Napalm, for example. Uh, I don't have a high tier wind spell, so we'll stick with that. Do you have... you do not. Uh, well, we'll go ahead and use Soul Blur. Unfortunately, Tita's a terrible choice here. But I still need her for this region. Yes, he's going to Earthshaker me, but he should be the only one that does in later games. <laughs> uh, sometimes these guys just decide, screw it, I'm using Earthquake anyway, even though you didn't damage me because the game hates you. But thankfully, they will never do that here. Only target the same one. Let's fast forward because this is going to take forever. There's, uh... Not much I can do other than... Oh, Natita just died. We're still getting our ass kicked, as you can see. Oh god, I'm gonna need you to heal Estelle. Tita, you're basically useless here, girl. Sorry to say. Uh, but whatever. Um, 
here. Heal got. There's really no... I'm not in any hurry to revive Tita. She's really not good here. Zen is better, but then I, I would have had to switch her, her out beforehand, and I forgot to do that. Then I would have had to bring her back in after this fight anyway. Um, okay, let's go ahead and... This is going to take a while. Like, a while, a while. We could use uh, clock ups. Yeah, sure. Whatever, I guess. Oh my god, game. Better go heal us, though. It's the Sandworm from FF4 DS, but multiplied by 8, that is correct. This is what this is. Except they counter you. Uh. Clock up Josh. Of course, we're getting earthquaked, and Estelle just died. Uh. These fights. These guys are so annoying. A lot of times they waste their turns, so that's nice. Celestial. Uh, Come on, man. Yep. Oh, so much fun. Um. Let's clock up uh, a god, actually, now that I think about it, because. A got has something that can help me here. Uh, if I can actually, you know, get a turn. So he's right there. So one trick that I can do is Spiral Edge. If I can reach the other right guy, there we go. There we go. That delayed him. It delays his counterattack. It's very useful to do that. Oh god, I did not see that Josh was almost dead. Man. Alright, take one for the team, Josh. Use True Sever. Oh god, do not use the other one. Thank you, Josh. You didn't kill him?! What do you mean you didn't kill him?! How did he not die? He has 52 HP. You're kidding me, right? Are you gonna counter me? No, it will be alright. How the hell did that not kill him? That's really stupid. That should have killed him. Thanks. I appreciate that. Are we good now? Can I revive Josh? No? Fine. She's a freaking celestial. Yeah, we'll be fighting these guys for like the next 20 minutes, so... Yeah. Fun, isn't it? This is the only boss fight in the game that I cannot stand. That guy's next to mine for a turn, so ET delay him. Fine, we'll revive Tita. Not that that really matters, but... Might as well. What else am I gonna do? Be careful not to hit two, or we're in a lot of trouble. Oh, you're kidding me. I Am I stuck? Ugh. Oh, wow. I literally can't move because they're taking up so much of the space that I have no means of dealing with them. I have no means of dealing with them at all. This happens sometimes too because they're just so wide that they take up a ton of space on the battlefield. And unfortunately... Okay, well now I can hit them. They just... No, I can't, actually. So for some reason I can do a bait. No, I can't, actually. I just flat can't hit the guy. That's lovely. Can I use Spiral AT? Somehow I get the feeling I... Okay, at least I can do that. So basically we only have a god, huh? Wow. I literally can't move. I literally cannot move. Holy crap. 
I flat cannot move. Josh is completely useless. What a terrible situation. I need to remove that... that status. Yes, it's just gonna take a while and there's nothing I can do about it. And unfortunately I have to now heal I got. Can you move? No. Even though it looks like you should be able to, for some reason, you can't move. I don't know why. And now I can't even... Now a god is stuck! So now we're stuck, to, we're now down to just a cell. Great. And unfortunately, I really can't afford attacking the guy because if I attack someone else, I'm just gonna get double earthquaked and die. So we're screwed right now. We have to wait for that guy to earthquake. Hope that we can survive. Which we did somehow. This is far and away the worst fight in the game. It's just so tedious. On the plus side, I can actually pick a different target. So I guess we'll go with him. He's next, so let's delay that. Yeah, the idea is to use a got to, like, uh... Prevent them from... Ever getting a turn, really, and doing Earth Shaker, but... That's not always feasible. But that is the best case scenario. Of course, their other attacks will still wear you down. That was pretty good. I would love to clock up, but I can't. I gotta heal. I got. Yeah, sorry. There's not much I can do about this. I pretty much have to do this super slow. I never found a better way to do this. I don't think there is one. I need an EP cut. EP charge too. On Estelle. It is so useless. I will revive her when, when we're close to done, but... She really can't contribute. Honestly. Her gun would hit too many of them. There we go. When there's only two of them, I might be able to handle it, but I'm still probably gonna take them out one at a time. Thanks! Thanks, game. Appreciate that. I'd like to be able to cast attack magic with Estelle, but they just keep wearing me down. Thank you. Oh, now I can finally use this attack spell. What a concept. Maybe airstrike's the way to go. Yeah, that's pretty good. There we go. Shake me, that sucks. Got a nice heal, which is good. Thanks! Appreciate that. So, uh, yeah. Oh, earthquake. Probably should have paid more attention to that. Oh, uh, we're in trouble now. Uh, Taral on Estelle. It's so easy to just go on, like, autopilot. This fight is so tedious and annoying. And you target the wrong guy a couple times, and then you're starting all over. Yeah. Loads of 
fun. Play. Full strike. Air strike. Dual strike. He's gonna earth shake. Hopefully that doesn't kill Josh. Known better than to do that. Uh, unfortunately. Do we have lots here? Okay, we do actually. I needed a little bit of healing for a spell. We're gonna get Earth Shake. Yep. Gotta use more Turals. I need you to revive Tita. And now you can go ahead and dual strike. You can heal yourself all the way. Okay. Good. Just move. He's gonna earth shake. Don't kill Tia. Thank you. More Tyrells. I think you can actually uh, delay this guy. No, we should probably just heal a god. Oh, and, uh... Try not to accidentally run. <laughs> that would be really bad. Like, really bad. Okay. Good job, Tita. Oh. Estelle. Okay. Chain three. That's cute. He thinks he's getting that crit and he's gonna one shot me. You know what? You don't even deserve not fast forward. Screw that boss. Hate that boss fight. Oh god, man. Horrible. Just in a horrible boss fight. I don't know what they were thinking of that. They were annoying enough the first time. They're ridiculous the second time. And if you don't understand their gimmick, you're screwed. You're never going to win. Now he might as well go to the tower. Uh, I think, right? Yeah. Carnelia Tower, we can go. We can go to. We can fight the bug up there. I don't think Carnelia Tower is too bad to navigate. <laughs> what a horrible, horrible boss fight. Uh, this one is actually a... This is an excellent room to find shiny palms in. Because uh, each one of these guys can spawn it. Just run till you find one. Kill it with uh, instant death. 
Uh, Death Scream is the way to go. This makes this a good tower to do it in. There are better shiny palms, but there's a lot of them here. I mean, really, any of the towers will work. I mean, it's not like you're gonna you're trying to get experience. Not at this point, anyway. Uh, I need you to unequip the cloak. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Haze. I don't even care. This one drops the uh, the power orb. I almost just ran away on accident. Damn it. I would use morale, but unfortunately I don't have any CP, so let's use, uh... We might be able to use Spiral Edge. Yeah, and still deal some damage. There we go. Treading over each of the lane screen. Yep. You have to be extremely careful, because one, like a, like a misclick can be game over against the Abyss Worms. It's really annoying. I know what they want you to do. They want you to trigger one to counter attack at a time and just keep delaying him over and over and over again. But that's easier said than done. And it takes forever to begin with. Honestly, I think they should have just cut the number of abyss worms down to like four and I think it would have been fine it's just there's too many to to, to have that slow a mechanic against them I think I care about that I'm literally using long-range attacks One of the reasons why I like this party for the bugs. Because I don't have to worry about their movement down. You can do that all you want. Like, it doesn't really bother me at all. Like, I got Draguna Edge. I don't care. Even with Estelle, I got Comet. Tita's got super long range, even with low movement. Ooh, level up. Alright, now we got the power orb. Guess who that's going on? Yeah, yeah, a thousand plus strength. If you were wondering if our stats go over a thousand, there's your answer. They do. I would love to give Tita a shield orb, but sadly, I can't. I'd have to drop the... I could drop the gladiator headband for it. But, nah, I don't think it's worth it. I forget what the last one is. What is the last orb? It must give us art defense? Yeah, I think it's art defense. Which is not so great. <laughs> but whatever, I'll still pick the thing up. The speed alone makes it pretty good. This one loops in on itself, I think. Son of a bitch. I need to get, uh... Tita, get Cloak back, please, girl. If you don't mind. As if she's gonna respond to me. Uh... Come on, Ryzen. It wasn't that hard to get up here. There it is. I was like, I know it's on this floor. Apparently a tower is not that hard to navigate. It's not like the previous tower. Oh god, I hate that tower. Alright, we're done with that, thank god. You know what? Save. I don't want to fight those abyss worms again. I do not want to fight them again. Oh my god. Horrible. I hate those guys. Captain Hoffman? That's pretty impressive, though, like, how competent this this guy is, or, like, their helmsman is, that they managed to land in the trap planes with no engine at all, because everything went completely dead. Like, yeah, the military is quite competent. 
like even their normal pilots and stuff. They may not be super strong or anything, but as far as doing their jobs are concerned, they're they're good at it. Oh, if you have uh, ZFGs equipped on every, actually, I can show you. Like, let's say for some reason I walked in with a ZFG into the guild, even though I have to hand it over. The game will just ask me, like, who I want to choose from. How do you know, Kilika? I'm sure she was, actually. She's not wrong. You want to join the party, Kilika? We could use somebody with chakrams. It's interesting that she has a unique weapon. I mean, I know technically so does Kurt, but... Kurt's kind of lame. <laughs> like, Kilika's kind of interesting. I'm not surprised that they're panicked. It's dark, yeah. Yeah. So depending, the dialogue will change depending on how we came here. If we didn't come through the tunnel, we won't get this dialogue. Yeah, if we came the other direction, we'd be like, oh, wow, we'll have to keep that in mind if we go through there. Yeah, the game will actually acknowledge which way you came to arrive here. Yeah, you can kiss anything. Okay, the hot springs are closed. I know, that sounds minor in the grand scheme of things, but it was a normal part of their life, like a normal way to relax, and that's just gone now. Uh, Walter jumped off? Oh, wait, no, you saw that. Yeah, we met up with Lucy. It was kind of weird. Apparently she killed her kind of father for some godforsaken reason. It's probably going to be for something really, really dumb. But we don't know why yet. Oh, and uh, Ren summoned a giant robot and tried to murder us. That wasn't very nice of her. Oh, oh yeah, and then that thing happened. The Oriole summoned and it caused a blackout and we're all screwed! We're all gonna die! It basically. Just be glad it doesn't have a death laser on it. Oh, thanks for telling me that the entirety of Chapter 7 was a waste of our time. Yeah, we'll fix your phone. You got a hammer? I find if you smash it hard enough, it tends to work. <laughs> yeah, if you don't have Tita, I think Josh does it. Yeah, so we could be like, hey, let's remove it from, from a guy. Like, the game's like, what are you doing? He doesn't have one. <laughs> no, uh, Josh. Yeah, that's what happens if you have them equipped. So, we don't need to give Grand Cell one, so we do have one left over. Which I have no idea why, frankly, because we're not going to need them after this chapter. So, it's kind of weird. I don't know why they give you one, like, left over. I guess for, like, the climax of the chapter, but it's silly. It doesn't do anything normally, by the way. Like, it only lets you use arts for this specific chapter. Otherwise, it's a useless accessory. 
こんな調子で残りのギルドの通信機も直していくつもりだが他に手伝っておくことはねえのかレーストン要塞が近くにあるから治安の方はそれほど問題ないけど一あと、yeah, we'll、check the board. 中央工房やエルモの様子を確かめておくといい There's nothing to do in the central factory but it's telling you you could talk to Murdoch get that dialogue Yeah, Elmo, yeah, there's a hidden quest there. Yes, I'm going to. I'm going to call them over. Mainly because I like, I like、uh, making them waste their time. They should just like, be in every guild house. You shouldn't have to call them over. That's kind of silly. I know they're trying to be realistic, but. Oh, right, we have to do the Ritter Road. Um. Monster. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll do that in a little bit. Yeah, I'll report him to you. Don't worry about that, Kilika. Uh. Oh boy. Actually, maybe we should go to the Ritter Road and just do that now. Don't worry, it's just a blade cougar, so I'm not concerned about him. I think he's blocking the way to Grand Cell. Like, I don't think I don't think you can. Yeah, he's right here. You have to fight him. Well, I guess you don't have to fight him if you, for some reason, decided to loop back, but I don't know why you would do that. Did, did you just kill him instantly? Holy cow! These guys are susceptible to instant death. Okay. Well, here, let me fix that for you. I didn't expect that. I mean, I'll take it. Come on, game. Instant death. No, not today. Okay, no, I meant I was supposed to do instant death to you, not you do it to me. You know, for that, you get instant death. Ah, damn it, game. We can't buy、uh, celestial bombs yet, so I need to be a little careful with them. Yeah, these guys do do instant death, and they do it fairly often, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. Uh, you know what? You do that, and then Josh, go ahead and murder them all. You're gonna die soon anyway. Might as well use your thing. You might actually kill them all. Yeah, you did. Good. Simple enough. Level 80? Oh man, that's not high enough level. I thought she would learn something there, but no, no. Must be 85 or something, I don't know. You really didn't get it there, Estelle? No, okay. She didn't get her、uh, third tier S break, sadly. Oh well. I'll get them all in the final chapter, probably. Well, no, I will definitely get them in the final chapter. You get a lot of experience in the final chapter. The third tier S breaks are, like, really cool, <laughs> they're really awesome. Too bad not everybody gets them, but you know. I think everybody except Kevin actually gets them. Okay, so we can. I guess we can hand in that one. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now is the time. Oh, I forgot to equip the power belt. Power belt? Power orb. Okay. Let's go to Elmo. We have to have Tita for this, by the way. To do the hidden quest.
is, uh, yeah, Grand Cell's the next region. Okay, good. Grand Cell doesn't have a hidden quest, thankfully, but it does have a couple of monster quests. And I'm also going to farm my Sephith there. Which probably means I won't stream tomorrow. Because I'll probably be farming Sephith. Unless I somehow farm it later, but I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take, I forget. Can't I, like... Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. We gotta talk to her again. That's good. Yeah, oral power doesn't work, Mr. Mao, so I don't know how we could do that for you. Offer to help anyway. Well, I guess we'll see if we can somehow fix it, even though there's no orbital power. <clears throat> I know, this seems like minor in the grand scheme of things right now, but... I mean, think about it. If you could let people actually have a place to relax, despite all the chaos, it would calm some panicking down. It would calm some nerves. Some sense of normalcy. Yeah, we're gonna go to the pump shed, which is... Right here. Yeah, I know. I have the pump shed key. If you don't have Tita, I think you'll go in here and Estelle will be like, Oh, I have no clue what I'm doing. We should go get Tita. No kidding, Estelle. Everything has stopped. I guess so, yeah. さすがに大手で組んで運んでくるわけにもいかねえだろう。やっぱ、なんとかしてこの装置を動かすしかないと思うがな。あ、もしかしてそんな両手で持てるくらいのオーブメントに限定されるそうです。やすちゅうべ。そっか。Yes, Tita? Tita? Uh, you should know better than anybody, I got, considering you're with her 99% of this series, apparently. <laughs> oh, God. I like how she's literally mumbling to herself. You know we have no idea what you're talking about, right, girl? Uh, nobody cares what you do, Tita. How? Whack it with a hammer? You want us to use gasoline? Oh, okay. 
工作機械と同じで複雑な機構は使われていないからオーブメントで動かしていた部分を内燃機関で動かすことができればそのまま動くと思うの、oh, she's so excited. Wow. な,なるほどそれは盲点だったね,ねその内燃機関はどこに置いてあるの Is it going to be incredibly annoying? <laughs> What do you think? Yeah. I'm sure it'll be just as simple as asking Gustav. <laughs> just as simple. Yep. Just get the gasoline and the engine. We'll be done in five minutes! Oh, let's go. Can't be that bad. I'm not crazy. Don't worry about it. Take us all of five minutes. They wouldn't make us run halfway across the kingdom. No, they wouldn't do that. Don't worry about it. Okay, so here we go. We're going to, uh, back to the landing port. In Zeiss. Where is the landing port, actually? You know, is your grandfather in here? He might be in here. Is he in his, like, lab? In his room? Oh, I don't know where your grandfather is. Lane? Why are you here? Why are you here? This ice landing port's over here. Yeah. Gustav, where are you? Now you must be cursed that this game doesn't have a carp. Uh, just for this side quest, but yeah. Hi, Gustav. We do have fast travel in the crossbow games. It's not like the most convenient fast travel, but it is a thing. I imagine there's fast travel in Cold Steel because it's it's a Airboni is a huge country. It's like half the continent, so. Well, maybe not that big, but it's like a third of it. It's huge. Calvert will probably have fast travel, too. Need something? Yeah, give us the engine. There's a problem, of course. まの悪いことにまた王国軍に越しちまっていたところだったんだ。この前、アルセイユのエンジンを乾燥した時にな。そうなんだ。じゃあ、レイストン要塞に置かせて。オッケー。すまねえが、持っていくんならそっちに問い
Why? Where is it? That deserved a Nanda stay from you, Estelle. It was on a ship in midair, which means it crashed. Great. Oh yes, Tita. So easy. Now we have to head to that patrol ship that's in the trap planes. All the way towards the tower. And talk to Hoffman and he'll give us the thing, theoretically. We still have to get the gasoline! <laughs> Hoffman, where are you, dude? Give us your engine. Can we have it, please? Do you have gasoline, too? The guy's name is Reno? Wow. I like how they were pretending to carry it, even though they were carrying nothing. By the way, you notice how they were carrying it with two hands, and they just give it to Estelle, and she's like, Ah, thanks! It's pretty light! <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's true, like, that gun the guy's holding doesn't work. So he just has a bayonet for it. He wasn't being an asshole. He was, like, genuinely... Um, encouraging them. But, I mean, I can understand them being scared to death. They just lost all their equipment. Whereas we're used to fighting with things without Orville gear anyway. Except for Tita. これの言い取りは大切かもしれない。エルモン温泉の復活。ぜひとも頑張ってくれたまえ。はい。任せといて。さてと、これで来年期間はオッケーね。あとはガソリンだけど。前の時みたいに。<笑> <sighs> because I'm psychic, I'm going to go ahead and equip the uh, night goggles. No reason for that. Just don't worry about it. Let's go right into the central factory. Yep. It'll be... Uh, Super easy. We just go talk to uh, Rudy, and uh, he'll give us the, uh, the gasoline in the basement. Yep. Yep. They'll just give it to us. No questions asked. Hell are you, Rudy? Uh, are you in the Claudia Tunnel? You were in the Claudia Tunnel before. You're not there now, though. I know he's in the basement somewhere. That's the elevator. Where the hell are you, Rudy? I thought he was in the basement. Oh, here he is. I just missed him. Hey, Rudy. How's it going, buddy? Yeah, we need the gasoline. You got it? You have the gasoline, right? You don't have the gasoline. 
What did you do with it? Drink it? Oh, that's Murdoch. Are you using it for cigarette lighters? Yeah, we need your gasoline. Where is it? How high is the price of gas in, our, in my region? Like 320 a gallon. Which is... Bigger than a liter, so I don't know. I don't know what the exact correlation is. It's not cheap. Ah, そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そ
check for those who can't work during the pandemic. Yeah, okay, yeah, the stimulus money. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, every little bit helps. Considering a lot of people couldn't work. But whatever, I think we're, we're towards the end of it now, I think. I hope. God. That should be enough. Three gasoline tanks. Hopefully, yeah. Sort it out. Oh, yeah, he stops on the bridge. He's not supposed to. I, again, it's a resolution thing. He's supposed to be off screen there. What's really weird to me is, um. Oh, no, waiting is evil! <laughs> I didn't want, I don't want to cross. No. No more crossing game. We're done with that. Uh, okay, so we need to go. Uh. Oh! I actually skipped dialogue. Okay, well. What you're supposed to do is talk to Portos first. And, uh, I don't think this is gonna matter at all, but. Then Portos would be like, Gasoline? What do you mean? We don't have any gasoline. It's gonna really piss you off. And he's like, You should ask somebody else. And then you're just supposed to randomly talk to Harg, but I just talked to Harg because I knew I was supposed to talk to him. Yeah, Portos, like, literally has no clue what you're talking about for, like, no reason whatsoever. And you're just supposed to know to talk to Harg. And then Harg gives it to you. Alright, so now we can go through. His dialogue is probably voiced, but it's nothing important. It's just him being an idiot. I think he's, like, supposed to be in charge of the warehouse, but he says that he's, like, lazy and he just leaves it to other people, even though he's not supposed to. And Estelle gets kind of annoyed at him. <laughs> Something like that. <clears throat> but I didn't realize you could actually just skip that by just talking to Harg immediately. Which is good, because, you know, if you already know that, why should you have to get to the dialogue of Ordos just being an idiot? Doesn't really add anything. Alright, let's go. I think we're done. We can just go back to Almo Village. Uh, game? Can I... Thank you. Oh my god. We're almost done with this freaking place. This region. <clears throat> Which is good, because this is just terrible. Oh, if you want to catch every single fish in the game, now would be the time to do it, by the way. We uh, don't have a lot of time left. I'm not going to bother getting a complete fishing collection. I don't really care in this game. You don't really get anything out of it. Oh, crap. I have to actually go into the pump shed to fix it. I forgot. Fix it up, Tita. Time to upgrade the pump. Actually, you mean downgrade it. What are you going to do, Estelle? 
She's like, I am not relying on you to touch machinery. Oh. When do you have time to draw that? I mean, that's cool. Ah, uh, you're a softie for Tita. You know you'd help her do anything she asks, you got. Cool. Yeah, she is good with machines. It'll work, hopefully. Oh, it's loud. It's not efficient, but it should work. Well, there we go. Awesome. So they're wasting gas to fix the hot spring? Yes, that's what we were doing. We're using gasoline to make the hot springs run. I mean, whatever. What else are they going to use the gasoline for? Nothing. Everything else is too advanced for it to work with it, so... Might as well make use of it. Stuff's outdated otherwise. It's always 90% thanks to Tita when it comes to machines. Don't remind me, I got. I'm aware. It is a problem if technology ever shuts down. Like, we'd be screwed. Yeah, take down that floating city somehow. Always the optimist, Estelle. She's such a good foil for him. Because he's he is like a natural pessimist and she's a natural optimist. Like it takes a lot for Estelle to get pessimistic. She has to be like at her lowest. Oh, cool, got some Nirvana tea. Oh yeah, we got, uh, I think a free CP restoration. We can use the hot spring now, if you want. So you could actually use it to go into the tower and fight some palms, but nah. I don't think it's worth it, just stick with Death Scream. It takes too long to do it that way. If you care to fight shiny palms to farm, Zephyrs. I prefer fishing, but, you know. Oh, no, we're not quite done yet. We gotta go to Wolf Fort, now that I think about it. Where is Wolf Fort? Uh, near Carnelia Tower. Yeah, I can get Gambler Jack. As usual. Uh, I think it's over here. Is it? Is this it? This is not it. Okay, it's down here. I think I gotta talk to the CWO officer. What the hell's his name? Uh, Passe? Pake? Pace? Probably Pace. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, talk to him. I don't remember which one he is. Oh. They can't close the gate, so sorry. Even though it's open, we can't go in there. We can't actually go to the Republic. I think it's this guy. Yeah, remember, we're allies with the Republic. Not so much with Erebonia. This time, the ultimate weapon goes to Joshua. Oh, no, we get two ultimate weapons this time. They actually give us... Um, uh, there's a way to get a second ore in this game.
And there's ultimate weapons available for every character this time. Like, it's not just Josh and Estelle. Like, you could pick one for Tita or Shara or Zen if you wanted. Uh, granted, you should totally just pick Estelle and Josh because they're always in the party, so... There's really no reason to give it to anybody else, but... You have the option if you'd like. Uh, Zen's is actually really, really strong. And so is Agat's. But Shara's is terrible. So is Chloe's. Estelle and Josh's are good, though. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I know that's 13. I know we have, uh... 12 and 13, and we're missing 11. We're actually missing 14 as well. Uh, 11 we can't get until after Rolent, and same with 14. We have to actually complete uh, everything in the chapter until the point of no return. And I think they sell at the, four the 14th issue at uh, the Bose Market, but I don't think it's there until uh, you hand in all four uh, CFGs. And once you do that, you have to avoid Grand Cell because Grand Cell is basically locked out. And once you go there, it'll trigger the rest of the chapter. But I think that's the last thing we can get for now. Yeah, now we're going to go to Grand Cell. Oh, right, Liberal News is there. Oh, Odyssey of Anton is also there. We can finish that, uh, little side quest for Anton. No, I don't think it's that small still. You give people peace of mind. I mean, it seems small in the grand scheme of things, but it's genuinely helpful. Anything that can lessen the chance of a panic. あなたたちの決断は正しいわ。堂々と胸を張るべき成果と言えるでしょうね。ありがとう。キリカさんにそう言われたら、なんだか自信が出てきたわ。Thanks, <laughs> Yeah, no bonus BP for that one. I think we're done, yeah. We're done with that. I wish they added the hidden side quests to the board once you found them, but they don't. Alright, finally we can go to Grand Cell. You could skip Grand Cell if you wanted, but then I would miss some monster hunts there. I don't want to do that. We can stop in and say hello to Elnan, even though he, his phone's already fixed. Uh, we could go to Laston Fortress, but why? I don't think he can actually walk around in it. We probably could have talked to Morgan, but... Eh. Actually, I don't know where Morgan is. He's probably at Hawken Gate. Which is... Isn't that in, uh... No, that's Garoon Gate. Where the hell is Hawken Gate? on the Erebonian side, isn't it? Yeah, it's up in Bose. Yeah, we probably should we probably could have talked to him if we wanted, but nah. I don't think it's necessary. Not gonna talk to everybody. Like you could see the uh, the kids in uh, the orphanage. Might go back and do that before the chapter ends, I don't know. Because that's not too far from Bose when I leave to go back to Bose to pick that up. I might go talk to them kids. I meant to stop in the orphanage, I just forgot. I don't think they say anything too interesting, they just kind of wish you the best. Uh, nothing, no point in going to Green Key. Uh, where the hell is Grand Cell? I don't think there's any reason to go to the R Royal Villa. 
This is a, this is a dead end. It's been a while since I've been in Grand Cell. Yeah, we have to go to the Royal Avenue. There is that we have to hunt. I know there's one in the sewers. Although first I'm gonna do Well, we can go see Elman first and then I wanna Well we have the uh, the fishing guild we can stop in, we have a secret shop we can access now. But first we can talk to Elman. <laughs> Yeah, sorry we worried you, man. But we're alright. How's your phone working? Yeah, how is Grunso gone? No hidden quest here. I imagine so. Yeah. Yeah, fix my orbit. They can't. She's trying. But almost so much she can do. Yeah, we're gonna have to take that thing down. What? Well, can't get up there right now. No airships. Maybe we can use like a really long grappling hook. Nah, probably not. How are we gonna get up there? Well, we'll figure it out. Maybe we can shoot it down somehow. Oh. So we can't actually go into the castle, it's broken. So I don't think we can go see, like, Chloe. I don't know where Kevin is. I think he's around somewhere. I think you can talk to him, but... I think he's in one of the churches. But he's not available for the whole chapter. Sadly. We'll get him back for the final chapter. Although I'm not going to use Kevin for not to like the very, very end of the game. He's very good for the final battles, but until then, not so much. Yeah, I got the... Uh, oh, the Herb Scenic Root Monster. Okay. Big Cactus! Uh-oh. Evil Stream. Oh, man. Uh, anyway, let's, uh... <laughs> let's unequip this stuff. Tita... You've served me well this chapter, but I'm done with you. Maybe if we ever go see Ren again, you'll you'll be back. But until then, get out of my party. Besides, you've already learned your third tier S craft. I don't even care anymore. Oh, crap. Can you call everybody here? I need to get Zen in, because he's actually remotely useful here. Yeah, Zen and Agat's the way to go. Zen, the power is out. How do you think it's going? Not well. Not well at all. Uh, okay, here. Let's give you a gladiator headband. And I guess a shield orb. Sure, why not? Your speed's pretty, pretty crappy right now. You got a better, uh, weapon? No. Man, you have a horrible, absolutely atrocious amount of attack power, dude. Holy cow. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna give you poison too there, because I can. Uh, <sighs> septium vein. I'm gonna give you 
You know what? I'm not going to give you anything there. I don't care. I don't feel like unequipping Septi in vain. And it's not exactly going to help me anyway. Action three. There we go. It's good enough. Uh, it's 49 speed. You have 70 speed, Josh? Holy cow, dude. That's a ridiculous amount of speed. Just a ridiculous amount of speed. Um, I think we can buy... No. We gotta go over here. Anton, you here? Here he is. He's gonna be a dramatist? Yeah, that's the end of his quest line. Seriously, that's all you get. He's... I think that's all you get. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's it. He just... he get, He's like brokenhearted, and that's the end of his story in this game. It just like, woe is me after Ina didn't work out. Uh, Liberal News. That's what I was looking for. I guess we can read that real quick. If I can find the damn thing. All orbments have suffered power loss. Yeah, talking about that. The monster attack from the previous chapter and the machines, the Ouroboros' stuff. Uh, talking about the Jaegers, the Crimson Jaegers. Uh, yep, the uh, floating city. Orbments are still not working. And apparently there was activity at the towers. I know. We were there. There you go. Let's go check out this secret shop. It's, uh, in here. I think it's here. Yeah, remember that for sale sign? What the? Sounds familiar. Why'd you turn away? Yeah, what, what are you selling? Yes. You know this guy, Josh? It's not something incredibly stupid, is it? It's something incredibly stupid, isn't it? Yes, this guy's Orboros. He's Enforcer number 20. No. Not quite. You're kidding me, right? Why aren't you in jail? Yeah, that deserves an Andeste. Yeah. Yeah, it's Mayor Dalmore. He's out of jail for some reason. Seriously, what? Why did they let you out? You you froze us in time and tried to shoot us, and that was after you sicked a bunch of monsters on us and laundered a whole bunch of money. They let you out of jail to run a store. Wow. Libero's justice system is very lenient. Actually, it is extremely lenient. Remember that they let... That even Dunham was literally willing to let the, the Kapuas out of jail if they won the tournament. And their sentence was reduced for winning one round. Oh yeah, he also burned down the orphanage. Now granted, he was mind messed with, but still. You keep telling yourself that, buddy. 
Yeah, yeah, Weissman did mess with your memories, but you're still an evil dick. They let... Dude, you, you set fire to an orphanage, and they let you post bail? Why? You don't know what bail is. So I guess he hasn't been tried yet. No, it's not forgiven. Innocent until proven guilty. Dude, you are so guilty, Dalmore. So yeah, I mean, he's, he's not gonna get out of jail, but... It is kind of silly that they let him run a store on bail. I'm still not digging it. He might get a reduced sentence because of the mind control, but still. Like, Weissman didn't, like, totally control him. It was still his own emotions and his own emotional, like, his own desires. Weissman just kind of exacerbated them with the hypnosis. Same thing with, like, Richard. Like, Richard really did have those incredibly, patri like, overly patriotic feelings. Weissman just exacerbated them. Like, gave him the push. Yeah, good luck rebuilding your family, dude. Sepa store? Oh, there's no store that trades in Sepeth at all in the series, to my knowledge. Like, this is the only one in the entire series, as far as I know. Now, granted, future games just give you Sepeth in a lot pl plentiful amounts anyway, but... They don't explain that. Just whatever, just accept it. So, yes, you can buy Sepeth. Uh, unfortunately, it is incredibly expensive. It is 3,000 Mira for 100 of one type of Sepeth, uh, 9,000 Mira for 100 Space Sepeth, and 6,000 for 100 Mirage Sepeth. Um, I will probably buy some, but not a ton. <laughs> I mean, I only have, I have 160,000 Mira, so I could buy some, and I probably will, but, um... I do want to keep like a hundred grand or so uh, going into the final chapter if I could. Um, yeah, let's go into the fishing guild if I can get in there. We have the card, remember? Makes you happy, but also not. Yes, we can actually purchase bait. He's not kidding. It is a real perk. Uh, I believe we can even... Ah, I think it's row. If I'm not mistaken. I believe it's row that we need. I might as well show off what I intend to do. Uh, does it list what you can catch this thing with? Rainbow Trout. I think it's Row. Yeah, it's for sure Row. Well, easy way to find out. So we go up here. I don't think you can actually go into the castle, right? 
Oh, you can go into the castle. Okay, I guess we could talk to, uh... Maybe we can talk to, um... Chloe. Is she here? Oh, uh, Hilda. It's been a while. Yeah, is Chloe here? Oh, they're busy. Okay. Fair enough. It's fine. I didn't know we could actually go into the castle. Pardon us. Okay, so... This is the best fishing spot in the game. And what I will be doing is this. Uh, what do we... Is it metal rod? No. Lake Lord 2? No. Bamboo? Pisces? I don't think it matters, really. Yeah. So we could use this one or the Pisces Heart. I think. And I'm gonna fish. This is what I do. And then you catch the fish. And that gives you a rainbow trout. Oh. And now for some reason it's not bugged out. Yeah. So that gave me five of all Sepeth. And that was a bad one, by the way. So, yeah. You just do this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And row is... Rainbow trout is generally an easy thing to catch, too. Like, the timing is, um... simple enough uh, trout okay yeah uh, another thing is you can also use trout to catch rainbow trout I believe I think you can anyway oh no you can't never mind well you can sell the trout to get money to buy Sepeth with I thought you could catch, like, a bait for the rainbow trout here, too, but I guess not. Oh, no, you can catch, uh, um... Yeah, you can catch Roe here. But how do you catch Roe again? Uh... Is it with earthworms? I don't remember. Like, you can catch Roe here. Like, there's a bait you can use that catches Roe and Rainbow Trout. Oh, that time it got away on me. I wasn't expecting it to take so long. Ah, oh, that was an eel. So that's probably not it. This is serious music, but how the game's soundtrack is so much. Uh, I don't know. I like the music in this game. Uh, let's see, row. Oh no, you can use uh, earthworm to catch uh, rainbow trout. And then you can also use Roe to catch uh, Rainbow Trout as well. Of course, when I'm only getting eel for some reason, that's not good. But I'm pretty sure you can catch it here. But you should probably just use Roe, because Roe is uh, more, is, is simpler to use. Was normal for the role theme to be playing in the city? Uh, yeah, this is the... 
in the city itself? No, I think this was just a castle theme. But yeah, I mean, we can get 15 there. So I usually just use row. And you can catch trout, which you can then sell as well. Oh, you can sell the rainbow trout too for money. That also sells for money. Uh, salmon. Uh, which you can also sell for a lot of money. But most of the time, you will catch rainbow trout. Which is why this spot is ridiculously good for farming Seppas. Like, ridiculously good. You also get Terra Bombs that you can sell. <laughs> See if I can get a really good one, but... Okay, come on. Oh, right! That's what I was thinking of. You can use row to catch salmon, which sometimes spit out more row. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or if it's like row A or row E, but whatever. Yeah, see, they spat out more row. So I usually just buy like 99 row and fish them all. And just spend an hour or two fishing because <laughs> I like fishing. Okay. Normally, you catch a lot more rainbow trout, but of course, since I'm on camera, it's deciding not to give me rainbow trout. Because, of course, it's not. Why would I want rainbow trout? Oh, there we go. Okay, that's 15. So, yeah, you can get, like, up to, I think, 70 uh, of each Sepeth. And it's not that rare. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's quite good. I already got uh, some amount of Sepeth from that, so... Yeah, I'll be getting several thousand of each Sepeth. And I'll cap out everybody's um, levels to Tier 3, except for Olivier, because he's busy being, you know, kind of a jerk right now. And not around, so I can't level him up. But everybody else I'll level up to Tier 3 or mid slots and uh, get them up Sepeth for the final chapter. The, the problem with the final chapter is there's just no good way to farm um, Sepeth. Uh-oh, that's north. I think I want to go south. Yeah. Oh, no, that is south. And the final orbments cost about a thousand... Uh, they cost about a thousand Sepeth. Each. <laughs> so, we need a lot of Sepeth if we're going to actually optimize everybody. It's not, like, necessary or anything. You, can, you know, you can be fine. But... It's, uh, it's a good idea. Let's get Cloak on. So I need probably about, probably at least 4,000 of Earth, Water, Fire, and Wind. After I upgrade everybody. And about 6,500 time, space, and mirage. Probably closer to 7,000. You need more of those three because, uh, well, they're more expensive to use. Like, uh, I think an Action 5 is... Well, I think Action 5 is only a 1,000 Sepeth, but to get, like, a gold gem, it's EP Cut 5. Uh, you need, like, a 1,000 of each of them. <laughs> Something ridiculous, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's not good. Oh, yeah, this guy can paralyze us. Yeah, I know, it looks like a Cactar. It, it's not. Estelle, you don't... Why don't you have a ZFG? That's weird. What happened to your ZFG? Oh. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's what happened to it. Ah, crap. Forgot that they did that. But we got Thunder God Kick, and that'll actually do a lot of damage. Holy cow, that was pretty good. I don't know why Thunder God Kick is so overpowered, but it just is. Yeah, these guys are unpleasant, frankly. Uh, damn it. Oh, 
That was really close, actually. Uh, I'm gonna need you to heal Estelle. Just don't kill... You killed Zen. Of course you did. There is a full life spell, I just don't have it and it's really difficult to obtain. Yeah, this guy has a ton of um, physical defense, so you're not breaking through that without, uh... well, you're just not breaking through that without morale. Yeah, that's about right. Especially with his defense up. Yeah, Josh can barely damage him. Good, Zen leveled up. Okay, good, we exterminated him. All we gotta do now is the sewers. Needless to say, it's gonna take me a while to farm all that. Like, yeah. And I have to do it now. I can't go to Roland. Because as soon as I hand in that last ZFG, uh, the game is gonna lock me out of Grand Cell. Like, if I go back to Grand Cell, um, I'm gonna have to go through the final sequence of the chapter. And then once you're done with the chapter, the game just progresses you. And you lose access to the world, so... And there's, there's no shiny palms or anything in the final chapter, so you're not going to be able to farm effectively in the final chapter. I mean, they give you stuff, it's just not a ton of it. It's kind of annoying, actually. Yeah, it's very annoying, actually. Uh, wait, isn't the end right here? Oh, we didn't actually learn that recipe, huh? No, the end's over here. No, I'm wrong. The end is not over there. Well, we can go in here and trigger this scene. Yeah, the factory might be closed, but we can still uh, deal with it. We have uh, ways of getting around it. Joshua will explain. I think you can also buy the newspaper at the landing port. Like, I might buy some water, Sepeth. Because I have the least amount of that. So I might want to get some of that to catch it up to the others. Yeah, like, why? Nobody has any point of using it. Like, seriously, why would they get orbments when... Like, even if your stuff worked, like, their stuff... It wouldn't work as soon as they left, so... You're not thinking this through, buddy. Uh, seriously, where's the end? I don't remember. Oh, it's in the north block, that's right. Yeah, we're playing just sad, generic music for, uh, all the towns now. Uh, where are we going in, um, the monster side quests? Uh, I don't remember exactly where. Does it tell me where this quest is? Well, we can report the one. We're not going to get to rank A until we finish the chapter. We need, like, every point we can get. What do we add, anyway? 341? Uh, hopefully that's correct. Sounds about right. East block. Use the east block entrance. Okay, good. Yeah, I, the maximum amount of bracer points is 382 in this game. And the number of points you need to re get to rank A is 380. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not kidding. You have a two-point leeway. It's not like the first game where you had, like, uh, a 50-point leeway. Something insane. 
Nah, you have like two point leeway. <laughs> Literally, if you screw up one thing, you're not A ranking. Which I guess makes sense how hard it should be to become A rank. Considering there's only like 20 of them in the entire world. And canonically speaking, the bracer points are not canon. Like, that's not how you rank up in the Bracer Guild. It's based on feats that you accomplish. I mean, Zen's like, what, in his 40s and he's A rank and he's one of the very few? Alright, here we go. It's just, it's not a normal thing to become A rank. Uh, okay. Not wind. Basically not wind. Okay. Ah, uh, damn it. Damn. Can't do that either. Such a good impede. You can impede more than one. Let's see if I can kill them before they get that spell off. Mm, maybe? Yeah, kind of. Got the one. Oh, that's like the ultimate wind spell. Oh, that's not good. That's all that did, huh? Yeah, that's like, that is the ultimate wind spell. Something I will never get, so... Oh, well. Yeah, it's really hard to get, like, ultimate tier spells. I might get the ultimate water spell for Chloe, but that's like it. They're not really that good, honestly. They cost too much for what you get out of them. Oh, was that a death orbment? Interesting. Okay. Yes, yes it is. Okay. It's a 20% chance of instant death. It's quite good. It's basically death blow 3, I guess. It's good. I, I want to use it on Josh. No, can't uh, actually open that, huh? That sucks. Not that it matters, but... It would have been nice. Only in the first game, for some weird reason. No, we can go over here. I think. Yeah, here we are. Exit should be right here. We'll go hand that in. And then that's about all I can really do for now, I think. Because then I gotta farm Sabbath. And that's going to take me a while. Cool. I think we're done, yeah. No hidden quest or anything here. There is one hidden quest in Roland, but not here. Uh, I might as well go rest up, I guess. I guess I can buy a little bit of water sepa so I can show how that works. It's old school. Yeah, you just select it, the money's taken from you, and you get that message. And yeah, you do get it. Um, let's buy a couple of that. There we go, now we got 1200, so it's at least up to what it, the other ones were. And let's go to the Fisher Guild. Buy a whole bunch of row. Doesn't cost that much because... Oh yeah, you could sell... Uh, um, Kurt's sword if you wanted. You can even sell the Guardian, by the way. It sells for a lot, but I don't know why you'd want to. But yeah, you can sell salmon. 
if you want. As well as the uh, rainbow trout that sells for a decent amount. And I think regular trout you can catch here. Of course, I'll probably end up with way more Sepeth than I said. I remember I went in um, with... I remember Liz went in with like... I don't know, 9,000-ish. <laughs> Something ridiculous. Why can't I get the menu? Having a brain lapse there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we should be okay. For getting Seth, it shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. That was weird. Just... Weird that the castle plays this music, so. So yeah, I'm just gonna literally do this while the world is in imminent peril. Just gonna fish with Roe. And... No, you can't turbo. I wish you could turbo. I don't think you can turbo. No. You can't turbo through the fishing. Yeah, that was 15, so, you know. This is how I'm going to spend my night. So I can get uh, the tier 5 orbments. We'll be able to buy them in the final chapter. Yeah, sometimes you don't get a rainbow trout, but about half the time you will. I mean, it's, it's pretty common. Uh, I don't think luck orbment helps. I don't think there's any orbment that helps fishing in general. It's just a matter of getting the fish and catching them. And the bigger the rainbow trout, I think the more sepeth you get, so... You know, I've seen... I've gotten like 50 of each before, I mean... Plus the trout actually gives you mirage sepeth, which is pretty good too. It's quite useful. And then you can, you know, any extra money you get, you can buy sepeth. I probably want to keep, you know, 80, 90,000, maybe 100,000 for buying equipment in the final chapter, but, and some items, but other than that, I'll just do this. I figured I'd fish for a couple minutes at the end. Salmon, got more row. I will use more row than I get back, so I will have to buy it again, in all likelihood. Rainbow Trout. Yeah, that's 25. I mean, that's a lot of Sepeth. I think this is a lot faster than farming Shiny Palms. Even with Death Scream. Or Joshua's uh, Death Orbment with Evil Eye. Which you could use now. Ooh, a Celestial Bomb. We can also get Celestial Bombs from Salmon. Which is very useful. Can't buy those yet. I think we can buy them in the final chapter, but I forget. Luckily, rainbow trouts are super easy to catch, too. Everything is super easy to catch with Roe here. I don't know. I like this fishing minigame. Also, you can get Time Sepeth. So, Time and Sepeth and Mirage Sepeth are pretty easy to get extras of. And Space, I don't really spend too much space to begin with. So, I usually have a lot in excess of that anyway. I wouldn't buy Space Sepeth if you can avoid it. It's just super expensive compared to the other ones. Which is funny because actually Time should be the most expensive Sepeth because I think that's the most useful Sepeth in the game. Because I think Action is the best uh, Sepeth uh, Orbman in the game. Um, even though you lose some movement with like an Action 5, it's totally worth it. Uh, it's like a 50% speed boost. It's really good. Yeah, I see another rainbow trout. Uh, 15 of each. Just really good stuff. How much did I get? Uh, let's see, I had like 1,200. So I got like 100, 150. In a couple minutes? That's not too bad. You prefer the Breath of the Wild? What the hell? Breath of Fire 3 fishing? 
Yeah, I hated that fishing mini game. I just uh, wasn't a fan of the, those mini games. Those mini games were. The fishing one wasn't bad, but the, all the other ones were awful in that game. Like, I remember the stop the weird rotating. Or the weird line puzzle that was like you had to stop it when it was at its peak or something. And it had to be pinpoint with no room for error or anything, as if you're like playing an action game. Which is just ridiculous. Yeah, see, there's a lot of stuff. Um, there was that stupid pull the rope one, which made absolutely no sense. Like, it just. The controls just did barely worked with it. The boat barely controlled in that game? I don't know. Like, they did a lot of things that were weird in Breath of Fire 3 that they probably should have ironed out. I don't know what they were thinking with all those mini games. They were bad. Wouldn't have been so bad if they weren't, like, mandatory. Oh, wasn't that the one where you had to train the idiot, too? Yeah, the boat had tank controls. Like, terrible tank controls. But, like, I remember there was, like, a mini game where you had to train some idiot to, like, fight. It was pretty obnoxious. But it was probably the least annoying minigame. Yeah, I don't know. Minigames are, uh... Not usually something I enjoy. This one's relaxing and easy, so I don't mind it. You get good stuff out of it. No, still, you gotta catch uh, Rainbow Trout Girl. I think Row is the best thing to use. I don't think there's anything else to, that... I mean, there probably is something else that catches Rainbow Trout, but... Nothing quite as... I think, uh, profitable. There we go. Yeah, the, the rod will shake, actually, slightly before uh, the exclamation points up, uh, comes up. And actually, you can hit X before the exclamation comes up if the rod is shaking. And uh, that'll count. Ooh, Mirage Step is awesome. Still can play the motorcycle minigame? FF7, yeah. You didn't have to do that well in those minigames, though. Uh, like, you had to do, like, well in the minigames in Breath of Fire 3. There's also an audio cue. Rainbow Trout. Alright, cool. Isn't there a Rainbow Trout? I'm trying to see if there's something else. Another way to catch Rainbow Trout. Before I end... I thought there was a way, but I could be rem misremembering. Rainbow Trout is just so good. It really is good. Nah, uh, maybe not. Oh yeah, Rainbow Trout. Oh, earthworms are the only other way to catch. Yeah, that one was 50 of each one. That one was really good. Yeah, Breath of Fire 3 does feel like it was supposed to be on the SNES. I don't think it's... It's not a terrible game or anything. It's just... It's just, uh... It wasn't something I enjoyed all that much. It was good. It was really, really good. And then when it got, then when it gets bogged down, it gets really bogged down with uh, all those mini games. <sighs> Rainbow trout. All right, how, how's that doing? It suffers from archaic designs. Yeah, I know. It does suffer from archaic designs. Yeah, so I just got 500 Sepeth in what five minutes? give or take. That's not bad. So, I mean, if I use up all 99 of them, 
I'll probably get, you know, a few thousand Sephiths, do that a couple of times, and, uh, I should be good. Totally not necessary, but I like doing it. Otherwise, I'd probably just stick with, um, just upgrading, like, one or two slots for everybody, and... Just sticking with, like, tier 4 ornaments all around. Maybe tier 3. For, like, action, because tier 4 costs you a movement. And tier 4s aren't that expensive. But, I like going the extra mile. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do. Uh, I probably won't stream tomorrow. Uh, we might stream Friday. I don't know. Basically, the issue is, is that I want the climax of this chapter to be its own thing. Because it's a really good climax. So, yeah. I don't know. We might do the climax next week of the chapter. I don't, I'm not sure. Whatever, we'll figure it out. It's not that big a deal. Alright, well, thanks for hanging out. And, uh... Oh, God. I'll, uh, fish away my life. And, uh... I'll see you next time. Alright. Good night.